Hello guys, this is Abhay Sharma for thinkingpenguin.com and welcome to another tutorial. The basic idea came for this tutorial is from a tutorial proper color correction in Blender from Cinecat Pro. If you want to watch it, check out the links in the description. If you are a Blender user, you will found a lot of good stuff there. I highly recommend it. So go check it out. This tutorial is basically a workaround I found when I tried to use that technique in Fusion and it was slightly different so I thought let's share it with the world. Alright so basically the idea was to color correct the image after using a HDRI image if it has a color cast. So in this scene I have created a basic gold material. You can download this scene from blendswap.com. It has a basic light setup. I didn't do anything except I have removed the uh, color tint from all the light objects. Alright, let's hide these planes. If I turn on the cycles preview in viewport, you can see now it's flat. Let's go to the environment window and connect the HDRI to color. There you go. Now you can see the gold material color has mixed up or multiplied by the environment lighting. That's the issue we are going to fix. But don't get me wrong here, this entire thing you're seeing right now is absolutely perfect. HDRIs are invented for these kind of stuff to match the scene lighting. If this object were in the uh, same scene, it would have looked exactly the same. The problem is use case. Because HDRIs are so awesome and easy to use, it has been used everywhere. But sometimes, you just need the lighting, not the color tint. So to fix this, we are going to follow the Cinecats Pro's instructions. I will create a small plane object to sample the white color in the scene. Let's apply a white material to it and change the color to white well not pure white let's duplicate the plane object and material let's change the color to black but not pure black to sample the black color in the scene let's see a preview alright save the scene now first let's render the scene and here we go it's rendered ok let's color correct this image let's go to the scenes tab open the color management option and turn on curves adjustment here you have option to set the white point and black point of the image manually setting this value is kind of tricky so we're gonna use a shortcut if you hold the control key and left click on the black plane it will set the black point of the image and if you hold the shift key and left click on the white plane it will set the white point of the image and here we got our gold material back but it is slightly overexposed so let's turn it down a little bit now what we're gonna do is we will send this image for compositing in fusion Blender has its own compositor inbuilt, but I'm much more familiar with Fusion, so let's render a single image to the disk. Okay, it's rendered. Let's go to the Fusion and see what happens. Let's import the image. drop in any of the viewport and this is what we have got in fusion the thing is blender has its own compositor so maybe that workflow is restricted to blender only and frankly i do not want blender to bake the gamma and white balance in the exr image i would like to do this on my own so first let's add the 2.2 gamma to the viewer turn on the lut button edit the color gamma to 2.2 okay it's now gamma correct let's add the white balance node
let's drop this on to the second viewer we have to do the same thing for this viewer also if you go to the white balance settings there is no setting for white point and black point what you get is reference and result what fusion is actually looking for is a gray point and we don't have it right now so let's go back to the blender let's delete one of the planes and then let's apply the gray color to this plane go to the HSV mode and set the value to 0.5 I did not save the scene last time so I have to change the settings once again let's render alright let's go back to fusion let's delete this image and import the newly rendered image ok no difference except we have a gray plane now select the white balance node go to the settings and now we are going to pick the reference color from the source image gray plane it's not gold so let's turn off this use gamma checkbox and that's it the image is white balanced but it is underexposed I could have increased the exposure of HDRI in 3D but we can simply add a color corrector node here and increase the gain you know this technique is not limited to HDRIs you can white balance any video footage if you hold a gray card in the shot it is available in the market it's very cheap you can check out the links in the description if you want to buy it now let's compare it side by side Alright guys, so if you like this video then subscribe, share, comment or give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.